In this video, what I want to walk through is some custom audiences and lookalike audiences that we've created uh, based on a previous client here. Uh, as you can see here, this is back in 2018, uh, a little bit back into 2019. And I want to show you the different types of audiences that we created. So as you can see here at the very top, we have a 2% landing page retargeting. So what we did here is we created a 2% landing page retargeting where we are retargeting people who landed on the landing page within the first 90 days and they did not convert into a lead. Same thing right here, but this is 1%. And then this one right here is a 90 days landing page retargeting custom audience. Remember, uh, we have our custom audiences as the seed audience, and then we're going to create a lookalike audience because we can create a custom audience from video views, uh, from customer email list, from Facebook page interactions, right? So that's how we would create this custom audience, and then we would have the lookalikes from those. So then we have here a lookalike of 2% of people who opened a form, right, the lead form, and did not submit. Uh, this is for the past 90 days. This is a lookalike audience. And then right here, 1%. And then we have this custom audience, which is that seed audience, right, that allowed us to create these lookalikes up here, okay? So this was the seed audience, and then these two were created from this here. I wanna make sure that uh, you're able to understand that uh, and see how we're creating these lookalikes because this is the main audience here uh, that we're using to create these lookalikes. And so we could have gone up to 10%, right? One, two, three, four, five. And one thing to keep in mind here is that Facebook loves data. They love a huge audience. It's a lot easier for them to optimize when they have more of a larger audience, okay? So coming right here, this is a saved audience for home automation that we created, okay, uh, manually, and then we set it up here as the saved audience. And then we have uh, this one right here, lookalike one to 2% uh, video views. Okay, you'll see the VV there. Uh, and then this is for the specific ad right here, uh, smoke detectors, car, okay, and then we have the 95% 60 days. So this is a lookalike audience that we created uh, for people who have watched the video at least 95%. And then this one right here, this is the actual seed audience. So this is the custom audience that was created, right, in order for us to create these two lookalikes. And so notice how at the very beginning I have CA, VV, right, video views, custom audience, video views, and then the uh, actual name of the ad, and then I have the 95% for the past 60 days, okay? And then same thing right here, this is for 75%, okay? And then I have the, the seed audience. And then we have another right here, lookalike and lookalike for 95%, 95%, right? And then 1% audience match and then one to 2% audience match, okay? And we have this seed audience right here of custom audience of the video views, right? That allowed us to create these two. And so that's what you'll notice here is that you'll want to have a custom audience that is your seed audience and that will allow you to create all of the lookalikes, one, two, you know, 3%, 4%, 5%, and give you a larger range to play with. So that's how you want to set up your custom audiences, right? Where you have the CA and then you have, let's say, video views or you have uh, lead generation or lead form. Whatever that may be, you wanna make sure that you're naming them correctly. And you're going to have a sheet, um, a doc that you can reference to make sure that you're naming these correctly, okay? So just wanted to show you here how these audiences will look like and how you want to name them uh, properly. So that's gonna be it here for this section and we'll see you on the next one.